Welcome to Global Retail TV. Tonight, our weekly retail news with Jalal Jahazi live from London Studios. Emerging technologies have been revolutionary to the e-commerce industry. Not only has emerging technologies enabled the industry to get more insights from their consumers, but it's also enabled them to offer more personalized experiences for them. Most e-commerce platforms today rely on several emerging technologies leveraging artificial intelligence and the cloud to both improve their performance and customer expectations. For retailers, the opportunities with emerging technologies are also endless. The omnichannel experience is now being highly sought after by some retailers with brands investing heavily in them. Retailers now to understand how exactly can emerging technologies help them improve their online sales. Most e-commerce apps are now moving towards shoppertainment to engage with their customers. However, not all the products can cater to this new approach of technologies. Retail sales in the U.S. increased last month despite cases of the Omicron COVID-19 variant and inflations, according to the data from the National Retail Federation. The figures, based on data from the U.S. Census Bureau, revealed that the overall retail sales during the month grew by 3.8% seasonally adjusted from December and were up by 13% year-over-year. Retail sales in January, excluding sales of automobile dealers, gasoline stations, and restaurants, increased by 4.7% seasonally adjusted from last month, representing an 8.5% unadjusted year-on-year -year increase. Last month, the NRF reported that U.S. retail sales over Christmas period were better than expected, increased by 13.4% from year earlier, but declined by 2.7% compared with November of last year. Should more retailers be on Roblox? If you haven't heard of Roblox, ask your 10 years old to explain it. Because while most of the adult's population might still be struggling with the concept of the metaverse, chances are the twin in your life is already in it. Launched in 2004, founder David Basuski and Eric Kaisel wanted Roblox to usher a new category of human interaction. Number of head records of 45 million average daily user for fiscal 2021, which is an increase of 40% year on year. That's a lot of young people in, in one space, and numbers of brands like Nike, Gucci, Forever 21 are on it, creating an experience for a plug-in audience. The fast fashion retailers' objectives to gamify fashion and encourage players to express their individuality by running and customizing their digital spaces. Products can be purchased for users' avatars with the monthly metamerge drops, namely apparels, makeup, and accessories. Australia's New South Wales state ordered employers of freelance drivers, such as Amazon Incorporations, to pay minimum rates. A decision held by Union as making it the world's first jurisdictions to compel the retailer to follow laws on such payments. The measures to be phased in over three years from March the 1st requires companies which hire drivers with their own small vehicles to pay the minimum of 37.80 Australian dollars per hour in Australia's most popular state. That makes the state the headquarters of Amazon's operations in Australia, the first place where the retailer giant must pay wages to contractors that are set by law. The minimum wage ruling applies to all companies which hire casual drivers with cars weighing less than two tons. According to the New South Wales Industrial Relation Commission ruling, which has been reviewed by Reuters, Amazon is the dominant employer of small cars drivers with thousands of them, making it the most contractors hiring in the state. Southeast Asia's largest Dazen demo stores has landed in Singapore's Vivo City, creating what the brand describes as the immersive experience retail space. The launch of the Dazen demo stores is as part of the brand's global drive to further growth in its directions to consumer retail ambitions. 
the new store will join Dyson's three smaller stores in the city. Dyson's Demo Zone in Westgate, Nex and Ten Pines Mall, together with the Demo Store in Capital Singapore. Located on the first floor of the shopping mall and spanning 172 square meters, the store features several demonstration zones and interactive displays to create an in-store experience. Customers will be able to access all Dyson Store's full portfolio of household appliances, and they can try the products before purchasing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Global Retail News. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more retail topics. Be safe, and I'll see you next week.